Hey everybody, Will here. Uh, doing a little project on a rainy day. Uh, this big pile of parts you're seeing in front of me here is, uh, well, it was a nice uh, industrial lamp at one time. Kind of a, I think they also, there's a shade for it. They call it helmet lamps because uh, the shade looks like a helmet. Very industrial looking. Probably from, I'm guessing, the 1940s, 1950s, somewhere right around there. Uh, forget exactly what I paid for this. It was pretty cheap because it didn't work. It needed a, a new uh, uh, switch. So, uh, pulled the old switch out, and uh, when I first got into it I thought uh, I'll just uh, see if I can just pull the switch out without uh, completely taking it apart but that didn't work out so everything come apart and uh, I'm going to redo the whole thing got a brand new switch here and uh, gonna replace the wire here's the uh, here's the wire that we're replacing it with here you can see here's the uh, the old plastic brown wire that was that it came with this this is so horrible whenever you re rewire a fixture um, I can't recommend this fabric coated uh, wire enough I use this all the time uh, especially for these vintage uh, light fixtures uh, a lot of times this is what they had originally the uh, fabric coated you can get this in any number of patterns, uh, any number of colors. Uh, I keep a lot of it on hand because I uh, use it a lot. Uh, even if you have a newer lamp, uh, it's a nice finishing touch to uh, use this uh, fabric cover co uh, wire. So uh, that's the wire that we're going to be using. Uh, this is the cast iron base to keep it from tipping over. This is the piece that was on the base. So just a stained piece of cardboard. We're going to throw that out. Got a nice piece of uh, green felt. That will uh, finish it off good. Uh, the wire that was in there was in two pieces. You had this, this section of wire that was running down the center here and uh, that connected to the plastic wire uh, you can see uh, it's all frayed up kind of a definitely a hazard there if that would start uh, arcing or touching the sides of the metal there uh, not a good idea so uh, just going to run all one piece through uh, put a new plug on it can't reuse this plug because it's uh, riveted together, but I have a uh, a new plug that looks vintage. I keep those on hand too. Uh, one neat thing, where the plastic wire met the fabric wire, they had uh, these porcelain uh, wire nuts. And uh, first time I've seen these, I, I always uh, kind of thought wire nuts were. Um, were fairly new, like from the 60s, 70s maybe. Uh, but here they are, porcelain wire nuts. Neat idea. Uh, definitely keep those, uh, who knows, maybe uh, somewhere down the line. But uh, never knew they used them back then. So uh, pretty straightforward. Run the, run the wire through, put it all back together. Clean it up a little bit. Now it's a great time to uh, clean these lamps when they're all apart. You can get into the little nooks and crannies that uh, you normally couldn't get into uh, when it's together. So do a really good job and uh, I'll do a follow-up video with uh, how it's going. So here it is all back together. It went back, it went back uh, pretty quick. It took me about 15 minutes all together I guess. Here's a plug. This, uh, you can see it's a, uh, it's a new plug, but it looks, got a vintage look to it. You can find any of these parts on uh, eBay. 
That's where I bought these. Let's give it a try. And works no problem. So, uh, not a keeper. We'll get this on eBay, get it for sale. Not exactly sure what I'll be asking, uh, but should make some pretty good money on that.